Hi everybody, I'm Fanna Easter. Welcome to Dog Training Nation. Um, let's talk about teaching your dog to wait. It's really good for dogs that are door dashers. Um, if you don't have one, you probably don't know what I'm talking about. But basically, um, anytime you open your back door towards the backyard, your dog thinks it's like Indy 500, it's the starting line, and they just take off. Um, so I like to teach them a little bit of impulse control, or uh, you can call it self-control, is the door opens and you wait until you're really least. So this works really well too. wait um, even at the front door. If you've got guests coming over, I recommend you leashing your dog and practicing this, but I would recommend practicing with the guest that kind of knows what's going on because there'll be a lot of opening and closing the door and they kind of don't want to think you, you kind of don't want your new guests to think you're a little bit crazy. So just a word of warning. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to teach weight um, with a dog at the door. Here's a demo with a smaller dog. Um, she's been asking to go outside, so I think this is probably a perfect opportunity. Again, like I said, I always start with the leash and collar, so I have a little bit of control so they can't butt out. I'm actually going to give you a preview of what it looks like from your perspective or my perspective. Okay, so what happens is, um, as I explained before, as you can see, she's lining up for that door. Um, when I open the door, she pushes, the door closes. Uh-oh. I look at her thinking, huh, I wonder why the door closed. Oops, Smoochie. We will go soon. Here's Smoochie. I say nothing, I let the door, I'm not smashing her in the door, I'm not pinching her in the door. I think that's kind of mean. <laughs> what I'm doing is just letting her know, you push at the door, the door closes. Oh, oh. Okay, I say okay, and I let her out the door. Come on, Stella. And there you go. Wait. I wait for him and her. Actually, this brings up a really good point. Two dogs at one time, not a good mix. It's best to separate them. Okay, I gave the cue, open the door, uh-oh. Wait. Door opens. I'm waiting for her to back up. She's a terrier, so she's gonna just keep that nose against that door, hoping it's gonna move. Yes. They know when I'm videoing, <laughs> so they hang out on the door. And no, I don't have any treats. The reward is actually letting them out. So as Stella's scratching her leash, we'll try this with Sobek. So back, wait. Good boy, yes. Yay! Good job. Okay, so you saw Stella actually learning how uh, to go through a door politely. Yes, you saw her. She does this nose against the door thing where she just gets frustrated and she's trying to almost do the Jedi mind trick and wheel the, do the door to actually open. Didn't work. Well, anyway, so let's talk about that. Um, what I'm doing is, is I'm teaching the, do the dog that when I go to the doorknob, and you notice when I go to the doorknob, she, she's right there. That's her cue. That means that I'm about to open the back door. Okay, so I put my hand on the door and I open it. If she tries to go through, you saw I closed it. Okay, I open the door just to crack again. If she tries to get through it, I close the door. Okay, eventually it went smaller and smaller and smaller. I'd say probably the sixth or seventh time, I can't remember, she actually just was like, whatever, I'll back up. Because obviously what I was doing was not working to get you to open that door. So she kind of backs up and I'm like, yes and i let her go out so she knows oh if i get away from the door and i stay away from the door that's what opens the door okay it's called waiting it's called not pushing through the door for door dashing okay so it's a modified version of wait um 
eventually you can put this on cue. Uh, you can say wait and it teaches your dog to just kind of pause. Wherever they're at, just pause. I like to use wait uh, when I'm getting my dogs out the car. Wait until I can actually put their leash on. Okay, and then I let them through. Um, also, you can use wait uh, when you're teaching a dog or you're actually trying to get the dog into the van and maybe you're loading something up or you're getting the children out and you're waiting to get the dog to wait before they can go in and just so many other useful things. Remember, wait is different than stay. Stay means stay. It means stay right where you're at. Wait means whatever you were doing, just pause and stand still and then unpause them with a release word, okay? I hope that makes sense. All right, I'm Fanny Easter. Thank you for visiting us at Dog Training Nation. I'll see you around. And if you want to, I actually have a video on how to teach a big dog or a large dog, a big Rottweiler, so big, um, how to wait at the door. So you may want to check that out too. So thanks, bye.